Okay, so next we're going to look at then finding a percentage of an amount. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at then is I want to find what 30% of 500 is without using a calculator. Okay, so to do this we're going to break it down into parts. The first thing and the easiest thing to do is to find 10%. To find 10% of a number, all I need to do is divide 500 by 10. So 500 divided by 10 then is 50. So 10% of 500 is 50. So now I know that then, I know that 30% is 3 times 10. So therefore, if 10% is 50, 50 times by 3, which equals 150, so therefore 30% of 500 equals 150. Another example then, I want to find 15% of 320. Could do exactly the same again, 10%, so 10% of 320, so 10% then equals 32, 320 divided by 10. Now I need to find 5%. Well 5% is half of 10%. So if I halve 30, 32, then I'm going to find what 5% is. So therefore 5% equals 16. So that's 32 divided by 2. So now all I need to do then is add these together. So 6 plus 2 is 8, 3 plus 1 is 48. So therefore 15% of 320 is 48. Now we're going to look at an exam style question then where these questions often crop up. So a jacket costs £75 in a final day sale has been reduced by 35%. What is the new sale price? We're going to do exactly the same again then. So I now now need to find 10% of 75. Well I know that divide 75 divided by 10 then is £7.50. So to find 30% that part of 35%, all I'm going to do is times £7.50 by 3. So £7.50 times by 3. Well, 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 50 is £1.50. So 21 and £1.50, that gives me £22.50. So I found 30% of £75. So now all I need then is that extra 5%. And I'm going to do that by halving the £7.50. So £7.50 divided by 2 equals 3 pounds 75 So now all I need to do is add these two together. So I've got £22.50 plus £3.75 equals £26.25. So I've got £26.25, that's what it's going to be reduced by. So the last thing I need to do now then is take that away from my original sum of £75. Pounds. So I've got £75, the original cost of my jacket, minus £26.25. Got a zero here, zero take five, cannot be done. Can't borrow from here, so I've got to borrow from there. So this becomes a four, that becomes ten. That now becomes 9. So now I've got 10 take away 5. So that gives me 5. 9 take away 2. That gives me 7. Decimal point must go in. 
4 takes 6, that can't be done, so I'm going to borrow from the 7. That becomes a 6, that becomes 14. So 14 take away 6, that is 8. 6 take 2, 40. 48 pounds 75 then is the new cost of my jacket. Percentage of amount then with a calculator. Slightly different. So if I want to find 34% of 734, I'm going to use a calculator to find that then. A couple of ways of doing it. I can do remembering percentage is out of 100. So if I do 34 divided by 100, 100 of means times in maths, 734 equals 249.56. Alternatively, we can do 734 times 34% equals 249.56. The same answer, two different ways of doing it. Different question, let's find 12.5% of 64. Calculator back up, clear the previous answer. I can do 12.5 divided by 100 times by 64 equals 8. Doing it the other way, I've got 64 times 12.5% equals 8. So there you have it, finding a percentage of an amount, non-calculator and calculator.